that if they don't comply within the next 90 days or so, you're going to start having a daily fine that goes in. What does Google need to do to avoid that incremental fine from here on out? And why didn't you specify in your order exactly how it could comply with the law as you understand it to be? Well, we have said that there is this principle uh, that Google has to adhere to being a dominant company, and that is equal treatment in the neighboring markets of shopping comparison services to treat the other companies that they treat themselves. But the thing is that I don't think that it's for us uh, to design the Google page. It's not for us to say that these are the specificities of the technical solutions because this is Google business and they should uh, do what they find to be the best way uh, to uh, make this principle uh, come true and I'm absolutely confident that they can do that. Well, well, you're confident but doesn't it put them in a very risky position if they guess wrong, if they misinterpret then they could have enormous fines coming down the pike. Or are you willing to work with them to approve whatever they do in the next 90 days to say, okay, if you do that, you will not get a fine? Well, it is for, for Google uh, to do the compliance. They have the responsibility. We will monitor uh, if it happens. And of course, it is not a fine that you have uh, to pay as that. If we find non-compliance, we of course will have to prove it, uh, even though you will have to pay the day penalty from, from day one of non-compliance. But let's see if we get there. Uh, because I see no reason why Google shouldn't comply. You have very strong incentives, you have a strong company, uh, and we need the competition also in the market for shopping comparisons.